So Donna, one of my favorite times of year is the fall and the activity of getting ready for Halloween is always kind of fun. I understand that you might have some insight as to how we got to carving pumpkins. According to an Irish lore, there was a man named Stingy Jack who made a couple of deals with the devil and ended up cheating the devil and when he eventually died, because he'd been kind of a crooked guy, he wasn't allowed into heaven and because he'd cheated the devil, he wasn't allowed into hell. So he's stuck in between. He's stuck in between. Okay. Um, and so the Irish people uh, wanted to keep Stingy Jack out of their homes and keep other evil spirits away from their home. Okay. Uh, and in order to protect their family, they began carving turnips and potatoes. Wow, really? Yeah. So Stingy Jack was given a coal as the only light he could use to wander the earth. And so they would put a coal from the fire into this vegetable. Interesting. So how did we get from turnips and potatoes to pumpkins? Pumpkins don't actually grow in Great Britain. But sure. once the immigrants came to the U.S. and they discovered uh, the variety of pumpkins that were available, that they're much larger, they would hold more light in them, they're easier to carve, they started using the pumpkin to create the jack-o'-lantern. So why do we call them jack-o'-lanterns? Yeah, so Stingy Jack had the uh, coal to wander the earth and um, he was called Jack of the Lantern. So his name changed from Stingy Jack to Jack of the Lantern. lantern once he had the coal. Okay. And then once it was turned into pumpkins, it was shortened and just now Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern. Yeah. Interesting. So whether you carve a turnip, a potato, or a pumpkin, we wish you a happy Halloween. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman. And Jeff Edwards. From the ground up. <laughs>